All right, welcome to Starfield. We got some stuff to show off today. It's not going to be a very long video because uh, ultra wide makes everything super duper large, like my ship. This is uh, Frontier. I got a couple mods here that actually make headlamps on the ship actually work. That's why this area is kind of lit up because I actually have headlights. That's I don't know why I got that going, but at least it makes seeing distant. Uh, points of interest super easy when they do that. Where the heck am I? Is that the sun over there? Looks like that's the sun. What is that? Biochemical Depot. What are you? Okay. Yeah, I got a bunch of points of interest here that I can go ahead and mess with if I want. That's neat. Alright, so this is Frontier. I got a lot of stuff going on here. But we're going to not worry about the exterior too much except for like this little bit here. This is, I have the better part flipping mod so you can take parts and flip them on more than just the one axis that they give you. And if they even give you an axis at all to flip the parts. It doesn't do halves, it doesn't do the Tayo end cap pieces at all. But you can put stuff like these uh, Stroud Eklund uh, slanted caps on different areas. So that's cool. This is a normal oriented version of it bottom here. So, well, you might be wondering, why is my darn landing bay closed? Well, I got the mod too, so press the button. Boop. <coughs> so, if you go from your cockpit to exit the ship, it points you right outside. If you go down to the hatch and open it from the inside, you're greeted with this. A closed hatch. Pretty cool. So we're gonna give a little dime tour of the ship. So I guess the bottom most deck is uh, just an entryway here. This is another modded part. It's a one by one empty module. It has no shelving, no storage, no nothing. It takes it, kind of turns it into a companionway or passageway block more often than not. So I got. 2x3 cargo habs on either side. So that's where like all the cargo comes in through here, unless you can carry it through the hatch at the top, but <coughs> and little this is a, an actual storage room, one by one storage room. And then we got some downward facing windows. Aft facing windows here at the bottom. Yeah, it's good to have windows. <coughs> Our sensors are jammed. Uh, go look outside. <laughs> I like that that's how they did that in Star Trek Picard Season 3. They couldn't use sensors to see anything, so they just posted crew members along windows and they reported in if they saw anything. Alright, so we open up from the landing bay entry alcove up here to the mess deck. This is a three by two. Whatever the convention is. So you got your nice big kitchen here. This kind of acts as a through fare as well. I guess kitchens are important. So I kind of try to make the kitchen like a hub of activity. So the constellation folks on the ship <coughs> will eat here. The rest of the crew can eat here. And if you said, all right, I got 16 seats here and four there, that's 20 people, you know, having table space. It's not enough. I have, I think, 24 people on board the boat right now. So let's go work our way forward. We go through another storage space here. This is simply to make the flow of this deck work Glad to better. be a part of the team. We go into the, all, all these modules are Damos, by the way. We go into a Damos brig. And then off the brig, we have my office, my captain's cabin. <coughs> and then we go into the cabot bridge module. This eliminates the need for another another ladder well. I only have one ladder on. I know I think I might actually have two. I have one hab module that's kind of like off on doing its own thing, but I'm fine with it. It's not part of the thing. So let's go take a look at the port side of the ship here. Where does this go? This is my armory. I got some old earth uh, stuff on there. Old earth shotgun. I think there's a uh, yeah, and 
of an older shotgun. I put the older stuff up on display prominently because, you know, ain't no iron like old iron. <coughs> Back here in the, I guess, the walk-in stand-up freezer spot, you got where Rosie works. <coughs> Rosie Tannehill. She's my ship's doctor. She spends pretty much all her day in here. I got myself uh, a science lab, and then we go back here, we got a workshop. So basically, I call this row of the ship right here, this is kind of like, you know, the working lab Do you need my help? workshop alley. <coughs> and everything's off the kitchen. Everything's five by five, Captain. So what if we go this other side here? Well, let's go this other side, we'll find out. So we got a computer bay right here. Computer base actually do something. There's a mod that gives you some passive bonuses based on what hab modules you have. Like cargo habs actually give you cargo space. Imagine that. And computer base give you a bonus to targeting speed for lock on. <coughs> and we go into uh, two by one all in one space. I guess this is just kind of like a living room making a pot of coffee, boiling some noodles lounge area. Then we go into a 1x3 or 3x1. This is a living space, I believe. Doesn't have its own kitchen. It does have its own. This kitchen's freaking everywhere. And then we go back here, we got a storage space. You know, all those bulk grains and dried rice and cereal and bulk consumables and whatever's in there. Could be motor oil file, I know. We got an engineering space. <coughs> this cuts clear across the ship as well, sure. almost. Everybody this used to link up with the workshop alley that was over well, if you to past grandpa, this bulkhead. <laughs> so, two by two living space. <coughs> I can hear them, but I don't see them. They must be somewhere else. And back over in here, behind this bulkhead, and Behind this bulkhead are engines and the ship's fuel tanks, reactors. I think it's just a one reactor now. Alright, so that's it for this deck. So we gotta go up. I'm used to having the hatch was right here, so I keep ducking in here to go forward when really it's here still. I could move this module over this way and make it work then the hatch would be here instead, mm -hmm. but it's fine the way it is. <coughs> I just have to get used to how the ship flows now. Alright, so now we're on deck three. Uh, this is basically the main deck of the ship, because piloting is here and so stuff. Although, people live the deck below. This is kind of like a working deck. All the is control well, station, we just went through battle stations. This is the TIG 3x3x2 module by Tiger Industries, very recommended. It's a uh, nice open space. It's got more stairs, so I don't have to have stairs everywhere, or ladders everywhere, I should say. We got the doctor, if you have a doctor, they don't treat this as an infirmary space, but you can lay down here and look around. You got your pharmaceutical bay. Yes. And then we have all the workshops here. Hey, Captain. Including the little frontier style research station tucked into the wall. That's pretty cool. And then I got the other three here, and I got a chest full of nothing, another chest full of nothing, and there's beds throughout. This thing will house quite a number of crew, and then they have their own captain on deck kitchen area here, galley. So this can be an all-in-one module for all your crew needs. And then up here, it's kind of more swanky. And the lighting got weird because I think it the sound design for the game treats this where I'm standing is technically outside for sound. Like you can hear the outside wind blowing and stuff like that's weird. I guess the game doesn't know what to do with a too high uh, hat module. Anyway you got you know you got your freezer module, you got another cooking station up here, you got more bunk space, more bathrooms. This little terminal tells you all about this particular mod and the things that comes packaged with it, which is pretty cool. You can basically make yourself a, you know, borderline class M ship, which this 
is Class C, but it's borderline Class M with how much power I produce and jump range and all that fun stuff. More older weapons prominently displayed. I got a bunch here. I got some modified stuff that I picked up, like I got Apollo knives. It's it's an M9. It's Beretta. And then we can go forward here. And we got up here. We got this right here. We didn't finish the third deck, but leaving my cutter. I guess you could place cutters in here. I don't know if there's a way to do that. That would be cool. You find cutters in those occasionally, but uh, yeah. So this is my engineering space over the rest of the machinery spaces that you can't really get to. My hatch access. That's really it for the upper deck. Upper deck and the lower deck. Upper deck is the smallest. Anywho, we're here. Let's go port some more, and we go into this little bit. How's it going? Which is a. Uh, Do you need something? Why is this here? Guys, can we pick up, police up your stuff? There we go. I don't like that some of the clutter that comes in abs, you can't get rid of it. It just kind of floats around and gets in your way. Like, what's with the explosive barrels everywhere? Like, why is that even a thing? So another one by three, another one by three. Hi These there, are Captain. I thought you were clipped into the floor, but you're just... Alright, so Cora it looks like a no, lanky teenager. And there's all a right. reason for that. And I'll show you in a second. Remember that computer terminal I Glorious showed you earlier? I see think? everyone's hanging out in here. Sometimes you see them actually doing stuff. They all seem to be like pretty much on down team right now. Like, Alright, Captain. Good just to having see a you. sit. They're having Hello, a sit. Captain. He's just standing there looking awkward. That was a pleasure. You'll see him in the computer base, like here, well not right now, but you'll see him do stuff, like basically NPC idling behavior, which is cool. Makes the ship feel lived in. Because the problem with the stock crew limitations and how many you can put on a ship at any one given time is that the ships end up feeling really empty if you have a whole bunch of space. So I got, Lost um... My <coughs> thoughts, but glad to be back. I got the ECS crew member uniforms, so I give the Constellation crew members the blue ones because they're a little more important, they're actual officers, and then I give the named, but uh, like Marika, this is Marika right now, that's, that's uh, Andresia. The un, there's a mod apparently you can get these no-named uh, crew members, you can equip stuff in their inventory and make them actually look different. Sarah's got the first... Yeah. The first division stuff. So if we go over here to my workbench, <coughs> I have the Taylor mod. So in addition to all this fun stuff you can make, I can actually make outfits. <coughs> <coughs> oh, this requires textiles for. I don't know who B Morgan is, but uh, Bat Ball Cap. I use corp oh, I can actually wear his outfit. Ooh, it's 675 credits. Nice. The more expensive it is, the more unique it is, I guess. It's kind of like the thing. So anyway, let's go ECS. Yep, ECS uniform. So uh, I'm wearing the caption, the captain action wear. kind of looks like a field jacket. <coughs> it's a reskin of the ship's captain uniform that you can find elsewhere. And then I crafted a bunch of these officer uniforms. And I think I did the regular uniforms to do that. I'll leave Rosie in her doctor's outfit because it looks cooler. Actually, no, I think I changed her. Where is my... That's right, we're down in deck for that. So I consider Sarah the uh, first officer of the ship, even though I'm using Andresia right now currently. Ready for action, Captain. <coughs> Where is... Where is my infirmary? Where's Rosie? Did I give her the NASA uniform? I think I did. I just gotta find her now. Should be working in her in the infirmary right now. She is right here. No, she's wearing the NASA uniform that I gave her. <coughs> so the cool thing that happens now with the infirmary is you get in you get into bed. We're gonna clip through my face now. That's my you can and she stands up there with a clipboard looking at you over and stuff like that and basically says hey you're fine 
need something and pepper? the world's most uncomfortable looking like this these look horribly not padded like oh my god they're probably the worst I was using Tayo modules for the entire ship, but they have less selection than Deimos and Stradeklin does. The, the or was it not this bay? There was one part I really liked with Tayo, but it made the ship flow weirdly. And that was the battle station space. Because, I mean, they're two by two, they're the same, but the Tayo battle, battle station room looked pretty cool. Uh, but I got used to using Deimos, and I know how the Deimos parts kind of more or less flow together, so I just went back to using Deimos parts again for everything. I, I don't know, call me a Deimos fanboy, you know. Responsible for countless victories. So yeah, anywho. Let's get a look at the ship in display mode. I didn't color anything at all. Uh, I've been trying to put Grebes and stuff. There needs to be a category in the shipbuilder mode for just random detailing greeble stuff that you can just dot on your ship. There's kind of a mod that allows me to do that now. Because these field tanks right here are decorative only. Uh, you got like the radiators you can stick on. I got these little booster, booster duration fuel increaser things. But really, you know, radiators down there. There needs to be dedicated parts just to look busy. To kind of, basically more structural parts, I guess. It's just doesn't have to be large things. Could be like, you know, a, a plate, an access panel looking thing. Pipe work that goes nowhere and does nothing. You know, that kind of thing. So, that's my take on it anyway. I don't know, Creation Club, apparently, uh, Creation Kits, people are saying it's very easy to do mods for the game, so, maybe I'll try sometime. Anywho, that's all I got. I will talk to you all later. You all have a good one, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.